a distribution that comes with a built-in hard disk. Is that possible? Built-in hard disk? How do you mean hard disk? A built-in partition where you can download things to. Maybe I should not call it a hard disk, but you know, most people understand hard disk even better than, than if you're gonna talk about partitions. Partition, what is partition? Well, not you, the watchers, but you know, many people don't know what is partition. Partition, partition, what is partition? Huh? You talk about all these things. Are you looking for a fight with me? You think I'm stupid? Huh? Partition, what partition? <laughs> you know, these people, they exist. Trust me. So, we're going to talk about a new way of how you can deliver your distro, your, your Linux distro that you created. I create my distros on a weekly basis, and I always share them as an ISO file. But how about if I would share them as an image file that you can restore to the bootable, uh, to, uh, to a USB stick, so it's going to boot. Um, but it will as well have an extra partition on it, you know, so you can in live mode download things and save them to these gigabytes that you normally have unused on, on, on these kinds of USB sticks. I mean, like, if you're going to... Uh, create a bootable USB stick from, let's say, um, one of my distros, Puck OS yesterday, is 1.1 gigabyte, then you're going to have 6 gigabyte, 6.9 gigabyte, that is just uh, wasted space. It's not being used, and you cannot as well use it. Even more nice would be if you boot the, the, the live system, and you immediately see that there is a partition mounted that belongs to the, to the live system. Of course, you will have to go into your browser and tell your browser to download to, to, that, to that drive and not to the download folder from, from the virtual system. That's the only thing that you must do. You know, I mean, like, if you want to create one on a 32 gigabytes stick, you're going to have 17 gigabytes free space, 27 gigabytes free space. I mean, like, then you can as well format it NTFS. You know, then your Windows machines can read it and you can download big files to it. But it's not only about this, what the user can do. It's how can you create that file for the user to download and to restore and have a successful representation of your distribution that you created for them. That's what I'm going to teach you in this video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Um, you're in my computer and we're going to talk about the distro that you created. In my case, it's Puck OS. All right, let me empty my recycle bin there. Boom. Um, and so what we first going to do is we're going to fire up Rufus. All right, so you created your, your distro. Your distro is in ISO format somewhere on your hard drive. And what you're going to do is, at this point, it's uh, kind of a bit busy, but you're going to hit select. I'm not sure what is happening here. Okay, there we are. Um, you're going to hit select and grab your distro, but that is, you know, um, this one here. Yeah, and you're gonna create a persistent partition size. Remember, there are two sorts of eight gigabytes USB sticks. Eh? Some are not eight gigabyte. This one is seven point seven. I have another one here. That one is eight. So to stay on the safe side, yeah. Uh, if you're dealing with a seven point seven. Uh, gigabytes stick and you want to use the empty space you will attempt to create a persistence drive 
as you can see we can go up to six gigabytes but remember every eight gigabyte stick that is sold with less than eight gigabyte actually available will fail i'm gonna push in another usb stick just to show you that difference okay so hold on a second as you can see this one is as well 7.7 .7 gigabyte all right so these two are the ones that come with less space because if i grab this one so you must always look when you buy a usb stick when i grab this one this one is eight gigabytes so if i'm gonna create a partition and i'm gonna select for the full six gigabytes this one will not fit on this one you see so to be on the safe side so that all eight gigabyte users can actually use your creation yeah i advise because you cannot make it 6.5 or 5.5 maybe you can five dot no i cannot you see so it's or five or six but if i'm gonna make it five then it will as well fit on this one okay because then it became a seven gigabytes stick do you understand my 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 logic good so now we're gonna create a bootable usb stick after we created this bootable usb stick and it's done we're gonna have a bootable usb stick with a five gigabytes x3 partition that is of course not what you want you don't want the x3 partition and if you're gonna boot that stick that has gparted as well built in because i made sure that gparted is available you will not be able to change the x3 to from, for instance fat so you the developer or whoever created the distro you will have to go ahead and uh, 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 connect the usb stick to another linux machine or maybe a windows machine with a partitioning program okay that will see the 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 the, the stick because if, if in fact the stick should be should be visible because it's a fat partition here this is a fat partition you see so this is accessible so should be no problem for it to see this so you can as well now that i think about it use uh, a partitioning tool for windows but if you have a linux machine it's very easy go in gparted go to the usb stick you're gonna see the second partition the x3 just delete it or yeah first first unmount it then delete it and then uh, format it to fat32 so that in the next time when you're gonna boot that you that usb stick that you just uh, fixed the x3 partition from it will be visible as a normal hard drive do you understand what i'm saying the next step will be to get your uh, your your bin file ready for your users that you want to share the distribution with you're going to do that with image to usb and here you're going to see it it's a tool by passmark software version 1.5 and it will take a look at the usb drives that are connected to the computer if you're not sure refresh drives and go again make sure your stick is pushed in as you can see here uh, we fixed the, the file system already fat32 five gigabyte space you see that and uh, here we have the operating system two gigabytes so we're gonna select these two to be uh, to become 
uh, create image from USB you're gonna select to create that image file and now just hit create oh no not yet we're gonna select the file first and then you give it a name you see I already created it here it is this is the file and you can see that it's a file from 7562 megabytes but this is a ready to use uh, 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 file including working hard disk so create a name how you want to call it here just give it a name it's gonna make a bin not the ISO and then you hit save so when you're gonna hit create it's gonna say there is already a file there found just hit yeah just go for it and then it will start creating you see that and when this is done you have your file that you can share and here we're gonna go to it one once again here it is you see that five gigabyte hard day Puck OS 32 gigabytes I mean what am I saying Puck OS 32 <laughs> uh, five gigabytes HD all right so when somebody's gonna download this they will need this tool so we're gonna make this tool very popular at least for those that want to participate in this project that as well think that this is an amazing idea to give a little internal hd to you know i mean like if you want to recover certain things or if you want to download certain things or if you want to put music on the thing or videos that you want to you that you want to use on, on on the live system it's just a live system that will get even more interesting to use because you can save to it at least that's how i see it the wasted space is being used to with just a little bit of extra work to give the user five gigabytes extra on the same stick and it really works <clears throat> so yesterday i already told you that my uh, future uh, um, distros will be delivered including a hard disk i think i'm the only one worldwide doing that i like to be kind of unique in things you know i think about things and then i i discover things while trying to do something else i discover something else that you can as well do <laughs> thanks to knowing about or thanks to trying to do that something else so this is just like whoa all right and it really works like whoa so how to create a bootable usb stick from this can rufus deal with this it will say this image is either non-bootable or it uses a boot or a compression method that is not supported by rufus so rufus cannot do it but can our friends from this file is unsupported so this is all how to create bootable usb stick from this well let me show you to do that you just stay in the same application and you select write image to usb and then my good friends you're gonna select the image boom and then you just hit write and then after a little while you can set this on you will hear a little beep beep and then the stick will be created so let's grab the created stick and let's push it in the computer and let's see if this actually works so i just downloaded the the distro and i wrote it to usb the image and now it's done so i'm gonna pull out the usb stick thank you so much for writing it for me exit because not for the video i'm gonna rewrite it again that would be very very silly you know if you want to if you don't believe me try it yourself and then this application yeah i will link to it and uh, only thing that you will need to do is unpack it 
and yeah I can as well sip this together with the distro maybe that's what I'm gonna do but I'm as well gonna link to the guy his side because I think it's it's the best application that I found until now to do the job and it as well looks a little bit like Rufus so I advise you all to get this application on your computer look it up Pass mark software version 1.5 build 1003 image usb check this check this application okay if you create distros etc uh, android distros because all my distros from now on yeah only if people really want only the distro the small distro maybe i will put two links you know one to the normal distro and one to the one that comes with a built-in hard disk so the people can choose themselves okay but uh let me put you on the tripod now let's go back to the camera and let's see if this usb stick that we created if it actually works okay welcome back so i just pushed in the stick and I'm gonna hit F12. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna hit F12. So we can boot from the Philips drive. And there we go. Let's boot it up. This was my first test build of the OS. It comes with different passwords. I even included, I even included a full album a Creative Commons Reggae album from The Broom. I included into this distro. Look at that. If we click on, on the drive, here we can find the five gigabytes drive. And look at that. We even included some music for the people. Creative Commons. So these are all songs. I would rather die than I will know. So yeah, you can go listen it yourself if you will ever download this distro. But this distro is 7.7 .7 gigabytes big. But this is what all will be included. A machine that will let you store files to it you see that that's the five gigabyte that we that we give to it oops can you see it this drive so um yeah if you think that this is a nice way how to deliver your distro then maybe we could as well start with creating distros that come with um, persistence drive built in okay so we don't have to go create it but you already created at least that there is one build available um, yeah that there is at least one build available for the users that immediately want to or that maybe want to use the system only live my systems are the best to use live and if you want to install them they are installed within 10 minutes on your computer the fastest install ever 
It's really amazing. System back is, is, is just the boss. Small, fast, speedy. No, no, no stupid errors. No in it frames crashed and rubbish like that. You know, cause we don't deal with Casper. We deal with live boot, says Linux. You normally would see at the deli and like pasta salad. Those are great here, but you want something that will catch all the. I'm glad you're here. Aspects may not feel the same way. Dr. Sure, it all works, man. I don't see that anything went wrong with the distro. It was restored nicely. Or give them the excuse for an invasion. Uh, I think it's dangerous. This is a dangerous moment. Uh, I pay a lot of... You see that, my friends? No jokes. So that's it. That is how you can as well deliver your distro as a more ready to use uh, product that users can immediately, you know, uh, yeah, use the thing and save stuff to it, etc. At least this is how I'm gonna deliver my distros in the future. So be prepared. So that's why uh, download this application, this image to, to USB, image USB, whatever it's called. Download it and make sure that it's on your computer because whenever I'm gonna put out one of my bin files Yeah, you can then as well Restore them to a USB stick and you're gonna have a Linux distro with its own little hard disk